Welcome to Perimenopause Hell. This video is about leg cramps and the symptom of twitching. So this symptom can range from being annoying, like the kind of eyelid twitching that you might get when you haven't had enough sleep, to downright frightening. We have a lot of women in the group who have health anxiety and they can quite easily convince themselves that they have a degenerative disease like ALS because the twitching actually gets so severe. And of course, the more worried you get about it, the worse the twitching is likely to get too. This symptom usually occurs in the later phases of peri. So when you're getting close to menopause and your estrogen levels are really low, Women in the earlier phases of perimenopause may find that they experience this when they are overtired, but also before and during periods or around ovulation. So those are times when you get a drop in estrogen and estrogen tends to stay low throughout your period. We do have a separate video about magnesium. So, um, there is a lot of talk about magnesium. It's rather a trendy kind of supplement at the moment. I'm not sure it really does all the things that it's supposed to, but it is one of the main electrolytes that is often suggested for treating cramping. So you can get magnesium supplements that you take orally, capsules or pills. I'd recommend that you start off with a lower dose than this one on the screen, which is 250 if you have a lower dose, you can always take two or three if you want to, but start with a lower dose because in the olden days, magnesium used to be a cure for constipation. So it's what's known as a laxative. And if you take too much, it can give you diarrhea and stomach cramps. Really these days, we've got much gentler laxatives, so it's not something you would use <laughs> for that purpose these days. So just be on the um, cautious side with taking the pills. Uh, and a nicer way to relax really is to put some magnesium salts in your bath water and have a nice soak. And another way is to buy this magnesium spray or magnesium oil that you can put on your legs. So if you've got leg cramps, you can put it directly on your legs and you don't really have to worry about absorbing too much with the last two products. However, you can replace all of your electrolytes. Because women in perimenopause often sweat a lot, and especially if they're having hot flashes or you're still going to the gym and being good, then you might find you are losing a lot of electrolytes um, through your sweat. So electrolyte replacements are usually a mixture of potassium, magnesium, calcium, and sodium. Do watch out with the sodium. If you've got high blood pressure, then you, you uh, have to be careful how much salt are in these things. Uh, usually for the manufacturer, the salt is the cheaper one of these different elements. So um, do have a look at the label and check that it's not too salty. So when we look at electrolyte products, there are lots of different products available now. They're very popular for people who are sporty, so they're often sold in gyms or health food stores. Popular products in America is Pedialyte. And of course, this is often used for people who've been vomiting to replace their fluids. But you can use it as well if you have um, twitching because it contains all those different electrolytes that rebalance your system a bit. There's also these products, which are like tubes that contain a soluble tablet that you dissolve in water and they have different flavours and so on. And you can get sachets. Do watch out for the other ingredients in these things. As you can see, the last one contains caffeine. Um, they may also contain a lot of glucose syrup and be sugary. So be careful about which ones you get. There are, of course, electrolyte foods that are quite useful. Here are some on the screen. Bananas are an old favourite because they contain quite high levels of potassium. So they've always been recommended in the past for leg cramps. 
Um, as usual, if these symptoms persist despite your best efforts and consuming more electrolytes, then please do see a doctor, especially if there's any redness or swelling. So just to go through these different foods, if you can't see them very well on your tiny screen on your phone, um, avocados, spinach, butternut squash, beet greens, salmon, bananas, coconut water, Swiss chard, beets and raisins. That's the end of this presentation. If you found it interesting and informative, please like and subscribe. The link to our group is shown in the description box below. Thank you very much for listening. Cheerio.